So for today, we're going to be looking at the Omega Meccano set. Now, I should mention this before I get started. Uh, I sound pretty low because I'm not talking my regular volume because my, my fiance is sleeping right now because it is late. So if you guys are wondering why are you whispering almost like it sounds like I'm whispering, it's because of that. I don't want to wake up my fiance. So uh, yeah, we're going to be looking at the Omega Meccano set, um, how it looks and how it shaders. And then we'll have the shader video later. And then I will have a compilation of all of the sets that I made for this armor because if you guys don't know uh, when the first piece uh, became available which were, were the arms I started making videos uh, revolving around each of the pieces so that way you guys could just start making sets off the bat because I decided to start doing that when when Eververse giving us armor because it's kind of dumb for me to wait until the armor is un unobtainable to make some sets so that's why I'm gonna starting now um we when we get a set like that and probably the sets or the pieces that eververse sells with new armor sets we're probably going to do that as well so that way you guys are aware of what you can do with it so i apologize for the long intro i just wanted to explain um a few things so before we get started just a reminder if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification other than that let's get into it so to start off, we're going to be looking at the Omega Meccano set for the Hunters. Now, again, how to get was available for Bright Dust during episodes Echo or $15 in the Eververse store. Hunters, I'm going to tell you this is a like in the easiest pass for armor I've ever had um, because there's only one piece in here that doesn't change color, but we'll get to that when we get to the shadering for the individual pieces, like legitimately is really cool i think the arms not only are they symmetrical but i think the like shoulder pads are very unique in a really cool way chest piece is pretty decent i think the boots are probably the only piece where i legitimately don't like it um the helmet is kind of on the boring side and i think the cloak is so cool it's definitely my favorite piece from the whole set that being said um it's weird it's weird because like i really like the the design of this armor but I might as well just show you the shadering. Shadering is the shadered armor set I've ever seen in the game. Just because the navy on each of the pieces do not change color. So pretty much every armor set, armor piece aside from the cloak. The cloak also does have pieces that don't shader. Specifically on the back of the cloak, there is um, like a design. If I remember correctly doesn't change color the scarf also has lines that don't change color and the helmet is the only piece that actually does change color so that is very unfortunate because i do think again the arms are super cool i think the cloak is super dope uh, dude i even to an extent like i really like the chest piece like to a certain extent i really like it uh the boots i i hate them they're i think the the like armor on the right side is just too bulky and i would have preferred if it was on both both legs i think that would have been way better but yeah, overall, I'm just very disappointed with this armor just because of the shadering. The shadering is like legitimately the worst thing I've ever seen. And you really can't hide behind the whole, oh, well, this is when Vanilla Destiny 2 was still out, specifically Curse of Osiris. So that's why. But the Eververse armor set from Vanilla Destiny 2, like with no expansion, that armor shaders completely fine. The armor set for Warmind shaders completely fine aside from the helmets other than that every piece shaders really well so there really is no excuse about this this is the worst armor set for the hunters in the game just because of how it shaders like armor design wise i think it's really cool it's just again uh good luck trying to combine this with shaders i mean there are some shaders you can go with it but again i'm of the mindset that you really shouldn't have to work around an armor set when it comes to coloring just because like you just make it more annoying for the player as for the titans now i am conflicted because on one hand i actually really like this scent but i also hate the mark which is not surprising because it's the worst piece from this whole set and you might be wondering oh i, I actually like it well the thing is the whole thing doesn't shader and i mean the cloth the belt actually does change color funnily enough but like the cloth does not change color like not even cloth like nothing nothing about that cloak changes color and you guys will see when we get to shadering but I think the helmet is super dope. I think the chest piece is such a banger dog. The arms are unfortunately asymmetrical as fuck. Same thing with the boots. And overall, I definitely think the helmet and the chest piece are the strongest pieces here just because they're they are really they are really, really cool. Um 
the only thing that, that I don't like is the fact that the arms and the boots are asymmetrical. The boots don't bother me as much. It's just a shader difference. The, the arms are, is the fact that the, one of the pauldrons is not on the other side, which is very unfortunate because I would have liked it if both pauldrons had, um, or even just because then this actually would have been a really good, good piece for Vex. I mean, it's still a good piece for Vex. It's just, you got, you got to be mindful about the asymmetry. Um, as for how it immediately ancient wisdom, um, or just any shader in general, nothing not 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 nothing of this cloak or i'm not even trying to be like like exaggerated like it legitimately is the worst shader uh mark that the titans have legitimately the worst because not like almost nothing changes color which is very unfortunate because i actually really like the the mark i think the mark is really really cool but unfortunately it just shaders like absolute fucking dog water so yeah i definitely will not be using this mark unless i lean into that purple and do like a uh, saint 14 look which i did for one of the sets but other than that dude um when it comes to shadering shadering is not that terrible if i'm being quite honest i think the shadering for the helmet the chest piece i think the shadering for almost everything but the arms are pretty bad just because the helmet you have the the off color being at the actual inside of the plate face and then the like top has the off color as well and then the main color will be like the bottom and sides um for the chest piece the off color is actually the stomach which is very big very much a problem for me because just because you have some clean sets or i made a clean set with the chest piece and the chest piece i had to like really work with it and even then like i still don't like how it came out because of the shadering um the boots obviously one side is different than the other when it comes to shadering and yeah, I think the arms are the only good piece because it's symmetrical when it comes to shadering. It's just not symmetrical when it comes to the actual armor pieces. So let me know what you guys think about the Titans. And then last but not least, we have the Warlocks, which I think have the worst set from all of them, just because not only do they have the problem of being unshaderable, but they theirs goes a little bit deeper than that because <sighs> unfortunately the rust that you see on pretty much all of the armor does not change color and it actually is part of the armor so it's not like oh well the rust is just a shader no it's actually ingrained into the armor so that like grittiness you will see in the other colors which is very unfortunate um the robes dog when it comes to shadering i want to say this is the worst one just because there's so much so much that doesn't change color specifically the blue lines that you see in the in the cloak or in the chest piece does not change color the like designs on the dick cloth and around like the waist armor does not change color as well the like i said the armor pieces that like rust texture it does not go away so which is pretty terrible um the bond there's purple lines on the top and the bottom of that like inverted eye that those don't change color and overall this is i want to say the worst set i've seen the warlocks get ever but i also feel like i've said that before i think the uh, i totally even forgot about the arms because the arms are absolutely terrible for this i don't know who designed this and i don't want to like bash people on it but like it's terrible bro it legitimately is the worst set i've ever seen just because there's so many pieces that have a problem the chest piece alone has like four or five problems well more more like wait, one two three four so four pieces four pieces of the just chest piece alone has problems um and a lot of that is just shadering so yeah actually let's just get into shading so you guys can notice what i'm actually talking about so like for ancient wisdom you actually don't really notice the rust but you also kind of do because there is like dark dark spots around the armor pieces which is the rust um then you get to like echo and anger and you actually really do notice it because uh, echo and anger actually pops out with the brown and yeah it's just overall the worst i mean the worst to be fair there are certain shaders that you won't see the um the dot like the inverted dots for the cloth for the waist down uh, specifically uh echoed anger shows that but it's still it's still pretty rough like honestly the fact that the blue lines don't change color the fact that the rust texture is like ingrained into the actual armor is a problem i also don't like generally how the armor looks specifically the chest piece i think the chest piece is just kind of like kind of ugly looking if i'm being honest 
and yeah um overall i definitely think the warlocks lost on this one you guys just got dicked on the armor like legitimately it's probably the worst set i've seen for you guys um which is very unfortunate because i really like the helmet a lot to be fair i'm probably still gonna use the helmet but i definitely will use it in a in a like fixed capacity specifically like i will most likely always be combining this with a shader that looks like really fucked up and mangled specifically the shader that actually goes with this armor set i'm probably going to use that shader because i don't see myself trying to do like uh like a golden age vex with this helmet just because it's going to look stupid put, putting like omnicrony on this on this uh, armor when the like rust textures just make it look really terrible so yeah let me know what you guys think i currently don't have a lot of things planned for destiny 2 if i'm being quite honest i am kind of thinking about just taking a few days off so that way i can fix uh can get started on my second channel because uh, i'm currently finishing up space marine 2 i've already finished the game i just need to post the content over there and i'm gonna be starting a few a few other games specifically uh forever winter i've been playing that for a little bit and it's pretty fun i do have my gripes about it but Oh, excuse me i will be explaining my grabs about it in the in that channel as well um tekken 8 i'm gonna be starting that literally right after i'm done with this because i really really want to start playing that game specifically the story i've been I, I bought the game like a month ago or two months ago and i still haven't really gotten into the story because i've been waiting to do it for that channel so if you guys want to check out my non-destiny 2 content specifically my non-fashion content that's where i'm going to start posting like just games that i play specifically we're probably going to do like a metal gear solid run of all of the games to that way so that way we can get like started for metal gear 3 metal gear solid 3 delta i'm really excited for that remake because if it goes really well this might be a rejuvenation of the metal gear franchise which would be really cool because i would love to see more remakes of metal gear just because metal gear is one of my favorite series of all time um, actually i can show you here real quick so yeah i bought the metal gear games forever winter is going to be up in the chat or in, in the second channel um space in the future i just need to play the co-op and pvp unfortunately both of them are not like interconnected which is very unfortunate but i also have like i've never played the halo games aside from halo 2 like i would like to get into halo and see what the hype is um I was thinking about Soul Calibur, Soul Calibur just because it does have a really cool creator, your character system. We'll see about if I get into that. Um, Devil May Cry would be super dope for the second channel just because uh, I've never played the first or second one. I played the third and I think that's it actually. I played the third and that's... Oh, I think I played four for a little bit. Um, Dragon's Dogma 2. I definitely want to play this. I just bought this one for the PS... No, I'm sorry, for the PC. Um, I had it for the PS5 through my friend, but... I wanted to get it on PC just to own it myself. Dark Arisen, I definitely would do for the second channel. Severed Steel is pretty fun. Like, there's a bunch of stuff. Like, I, it's not like I just play Destiny 2. Like, look at the list, dog. I play a lot of stuff. So, like, yeah, I'm definitely going to be trying to put more content for the second channel. Death Stranding is going to be something we're going to be playing. Cyberpunk, I still haven't finished, and I probably will finish it on the second channel. Like, there's a bunch of stuff that I legitimately would put in the second channel. Like, fi Fallout alone, I would do all of these, aside from 76. Um, <clears throat> uh, Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is definitely something I would want to have in the channel. Uh, Mass Effect as well. Especially since the new Mass Effect is coming out, like, whenever it comes out. So that's definitely going to be something I'm going to be looking forward to. Um, you can ignore this one. This is for... for it's for me, but I don't want to talk about it. Um... Yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff that I want to do, like play some of the Stalker games because a Stalker 2 is going to come out and that shit looks really cool. I think it's called Stalker 2 and uh, State of State of Decay 3. I want to play the shit out of that. Titanfall 2, I definitely want to do as well. So there's a bunch of stuff that I really, really want to do. So if you guys want to check out my second channel just to see what I am up to, definitely check it out. I'll have it, I have it in the description all the time. So let me know what you guys think. I do apologize. This was a little longer than usual, but I just want to wanted to explain a few things about just my, where my head's at because most 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 likely i'm going to start to branch out into more hobbies other than video games um and space marine is actually a really good example because i'm actually like a warhammer fan so i'll talk about it in future video ho hopefully but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later